Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, December 16th. The first reading for our daily Mass comes to us from the 54th chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. It reads, Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space for your tent, spread out your tent clothes unsparingly. Lengthen your ropes and make firm your stakes. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left, and your descendants shall dispose the nations. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall forget, the reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back, like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandon you, but with great tenderness I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath for a moment I hid my face from you, but with enduring love I take pity on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah shall never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. Today's scripture passage from the 54th chapter of the prophet Isaiah uses many images and examples, but most of them focus around marriage and marital relations. And the reason for this reality is is that the covenant that God made with the people of Israel is similar to the covenant that's between that's made between a man and woman in marriage so the images of marriage and marital relationships help us to better understand how we can have a better relationship with God even though the corollaries the similarities are not always there because again God's eternal and we're in time and furthermore God is always faithful and we because of our sinfulness struggle but again these images hopefully can help us to understand that we through relationships here on earth can better understand how we can have a better relationship with our God and grow so that we can have a better relationship with God and truly not succumb to the sinfulness to the lack of faith that sometimes happens in people's lives. But with that being said, I do think there are three major points that we can focus on today and hopefully learn from what the prophets told us. First of all, if we are unfaithful in our relationship with God, he will always be faithful to us. When we turn away from God, we are not hurting him. We are only hurting ourselves. Also, if we're worried about our past sinfulness, God will forgive our sins and our sin and our shame will be taken away from us. It's very easy for us to lose ourselves in our shame, but God never lose sight of us. As the prodigal parable of the prodigal son tells us, the father of the prodigal son is always waiting. Again, we just cannot let our shame keep us away. And finally, if we forget about God's love for us, God's love does not end. In fact, God's love is always there to help and support us. We hope and pray that we'll never forget about God's love and that it will always be in the forefront of our minds. But again, God's love is not dependent on our love. And in fact, it is our love that should be inspired by our God every time we remember his faithfulness to us. So human relationships can help us to better understand our relationship with God. 
And furthermore, we can sometimes look to our human relationships in order to make our relationship with God better. But our relationship with God is meant to transcend any human relationship. Because no human relationship is perfect. So again, we need to make sure that we're always acknowledging that our relationship with God is to be the most important one in our lives. And every other relationship is to flow from that. But again, if a relationship that we have here on earth is not helping us in our relationship with God, we need to change it. But again, his love is always there. So maybe the final words of today's scripture passage are probably some of the most powerful of the entire selection that we can take with us as we conclude today. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mm-hmm.